Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. So today I'd like to talk about third-party plugins in Studio One. Now, a little while ago I actually made a video about exactly that. So can you use third-party plugins in Studio One? The answer is obviously yes, but what version would you need and how does it work, etc. Now, what I said in the video, basically, in short, is that if you're using Studio One Professional, yes you can use third-party plugins, period. If you're using Studio One Prime, no, you cannot use third-party plugins, period. If you're using Studio One Artist, I said, um, you can use third-party plugins, but you do need an extra add-on. So you would have to purchase an extra add-on, which is about 80 euros or $80 or something like that. And that would unlock uh, the plugin support so you could use third-party plugins with Studio One Artist. Now since the release of that video something has changed. So obviously PreSonus has released Studio One version 5 and with the release of version 5 something has changed uh, especially for Studio One Artist. So it's it's actually still the same for Studio One Professional you can use third-party plugins it's still the same for Studio One Prime you cannot use third-party plugins. But with Studio One Artist version 5, you can use third-party plugins without any plugin or without any add-on whatsoever. Uh, the plugin support is built into it. So that is, in and of itself, very good news. Now, what does this mean? It means that if you're using Studio One Artist version 3 or version 4, and you would still like to use third-party plugins, you would still need that extra add-on. Um, however, now you also have another option um, and that is actually what I would recommend and that is just to upgrade to version 5. Uh, and why do I say that? Well, first of all, um, getting an extra add-on is again adding something extra to your DAW. So you already have the DAW, you're getting something extra. It's always a little bit more of a hassle. And it's probably going to work fine, but from my experience, you know, the more separate things you have, the higher the risk of something going wrong, of bugs or, or anything like that. You know, so that is one reason. Um, but another reason is that it is actually a lot less expensive to just upgrade to version 5 than it is to get the the, the, the add-on. The add-on, as I mentioned, is about $80 or 80 euros. Upgrading to version 5 from any other version of Studio One Artist is less than $50. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. So yeah, that is what I would recommend. Of course, you might have some reasons why you would still not want to do that. That's up to you. I'm just giving you the information. Um, so just to recap real quickly, if you're using Studio One Prime, you cannot use third-party plugins, period. If you're using Studio One Professional, yes, you can use third-party plugins. If you're using Studio One Artist version 3 or version 4, and you still want to use third-party plugins, you do need uh, that extra add-on. If you're using Studio One Artist version 5, you do not need any add-on and you can still use third-party plugins. So that is what the situation is uh, at the moment. Hope that clarifies it. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.